as you enter retirement, one of your biggest risks is that you experience a time delay between your final paycheck and your first payment from your pension. This is true in both the private and public sectors, and managing this transition should form an important part of your retirement planning. While there are steps you can take to mitigate the delay, you should at least be prepared for it by building up some cash reserves prior to retirement that can tide you over for a few months. You need to start working on your documentation at least six months before your retirement date to ensure you receive your first pension check the month you retire. It's not uncommon for there to be glitches in the process, so it's important to understand how the process works and where the bottlenecks occur. Most of the problems occur at the employer or departmental level. HR departments may delay submissions, make mistakes on documentation, or more frequently, provide incorrect information on years of service. Members need to exert pressure on their government departments to submit accurate and complete documents to the GPF. Once you have filled in and signed all documents, check with the employer that they have in fact submitted the documents to the GEPF. You will know whether the agency has received the withdrawal documents as a communication via email or SMS will be sent to notify the member. This also applies where documents are returned due to errors. Remember to check that the GEPF has your email and mobile number to receive the SMS. Once the GPF has all the necessary and correct information and documents, it will not take more than 60 days to process your claim. If you have not received the SMS, go back to your HR and ask for an update. Employees also need to be proactive and check all documentation before it is sent to the GEPF to avoid delays. The causes of delay can include not having signed the correct documents, certification that may have expired, as well as outstanding tax affairs. Also check that your GEPF service date is correct. This is the date you joined the GEPF and started making contributions. Check the membership certificate you receive and query anything that does not agree with the information you have. Six months before retirement, you need to do the following. Make sure you have no departmental debt. Go to SARS and make sure your tax number is correct and that you do not owe them anything. If you do, make payment arrangements. Get certified copies of your barcoded ID as well as those of your spouse and children. Also, obtain a certified copy of your barcoded marriage certificate. Ask for the retirement choice form from the employer department and get advice on the best option that suits your needs. Complete the Medical Scheme Membership Form, Z583, if you have been a main member of a medical aid for the last 12 months before retirement. Once the GPF has all the correct documentation, it will verify the details, calculate the total benefit due, and send your forms to SARS to verify your tax deductions. On receipt of SARS's tax directive, the GEPF then sends the payment for bank verification. Upon receipt of your clearance form from the bank, your payment is allocated to a payment run. The payment run takes place on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday of every week. If you would like help in working out the value of your benefits, contact your Human Resources Department. Alternatively, you can use the Benefits Calculator on the GEPF website at www.gepf.co.za The smooth transition into retirement requires planning. Don't leave it until the last minute.